colorless night. An entire night devoid of color. Um, so we're starting off with the premier mono brown, mono gray deck in Modern. It is Etron. This build is from the Etron specialist Tunneling Cat. You can check them out on both Twitter and occasionally uh, Twitch, uh, although I haven't seen her stream in a while. Um, but currently, I think sitting at eight trophies this season, so not uh, shabby at all. Uh, I believe entirely with this Etron archetype. So what are we doing here? Well, we're playing the the Fortron lands, Urza's Mine, Urza's Power Plant, and Urza's Tower, which, when assembled, give you twelve. Or no, sorry, <laughs> seven mana. We have twelve copies. They give you seven mana. Um, in order to assemble these specific cards, we're going to use Expedition Map to occasionally get uh, them into uh, assembled properly uh, more often. However, unlike Green Tron, we don't have the option of playing cards like Ancient Stirrings and um, Sylvan Scrying. So in lieu of those things, what are we doing? Well, we're playing a pretty mid-range deck. Uh, I would I would say that that for what Modern is, uh, Eldrazi Tron is a very much solidly mid-range deck. And in, in that in that way, we're playing um, some uh, cards that um, hose aggro in the form of uh, Chalice of the Void, aggressive decks, and some combo decks. Um, we've got Mindstone to provide a very small amount of ramp. There's only two copies here. Uh, we've got Warping Whale and Dismember for more removal, as well as three Walking Blistas. We've got um, 12 Eldrazi in the main deck. So we've got four Matter Shaper, four Thought Not Seer, and four Reality Smasher. These all cost an amount of colorless mana. That's this mana symbol here you can see in the in the uh, top right in the cost. Um, and they are all pretty above rate for creatures. We've got a three mana, three, two, a four mana, four, four, and a five mana, five, five, which provide different levels of disruption and aggression. We get four copies of Karn the Great Creator, which is uh, just an absolutely amazing sort of Swiss Army Knife card. We have Ugin the Ineffable, which uh, kind of makes our deck go off big time sometimes. Um, and some All is Dust. This is a seven mana tribal sorcery Eldrazi. Each player sacrifices all permanents they control that are one or more colors, of which we of course have none. Um, so this build is just generally well set up against a lot of aggressive decks. Um, <laughs> we uh this this deck is not playing any copies of maze mind tome which i really do enjoy playing with in these archetypes but i assume T tunneling cat knows what they're doing with doing doing with this uh build in the current metagame um of note we're playing a radiant fountain which is unusual in the mana base um we can fetch that with with expedition maps if we need to just to gain a little bit of life um, we have a single ghost quarter, a single scavenging grounds, scavenger grounds, uh, two blast zones, and a cavern of souls. So we have a little tiny toolbox of lands, and then of course, Car and the Great Creator gets us a crazy large toolbox out of our sideboard. Um, most of our sideboarding plan is in that. However, we do have two Relic of Progenitus and two Spatial Contortions that are worth bringing in. And the current way that this main deck is slanted is to play two Dismembers and a Warping Whale. So. Um, it's going to be interesting to take this through the Modern League for now. Um, this is one of those decks like Jund, that some people are sort of poking fun at, criticizing, however you think of it, um, for you know being back in Modern after all these bans. Some people say crazy things like, oh my god, I can't believe people are playing these decks like they're viable, like it's 2016. Um, but that's just a completely ridiculous statement because when there is as huge a shakeup as Modern recently... Um, went through. Um, there just is no rule. There's no rules on what is viable, what is good, what is you know um, playable or or competitive or whatever. Um, we have seen a huge number of hyper aggressive decks which were not touched by the bands and in fact benefited from the bands um, be <laughs> be viable. Um, El Drazitron, did you mean El Cucaracha? I mean, por que no los dos, Robert? Por que no los dos? But yeah, uh, Etron e being back is not, uh, not at all a problem, and I don't think it's uh, surprising either, since, uh, four main deck Chal Chalice of the Voids in, in, uh, in your deck gives you a, a good hedge against all the aggressive decks. If I want to play Dawn Charm, I'll play it. Was it you that was asking about the Oops All Charms deck? I feel like this is from Time Spiral. 
that that's gotta be from future sight right or um planar chaos that looks like planar chaos it's a white counter spell yeah 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 oh and something i didn't mention about this deck um sometimes you just have the, the, the natural Tron hands, which are obnoxious and powerful. And sometimes, no, not sometimes, that is part of what you want to have in Modern. Pretty much every deck wants to have some kind of um, obnoxious, proactive, powerful draw that it can hit. Unless, of course, you're playing um, a control deck, and the control decks in Modern tend to be heavily um, slanted towards having oodles of interaction. Fun fact, white is secondary in counter spells. I don't think that's actually true, The Last God, but if you say so. So the real question I have at this moment is... Do I take four damage to prevent two from the Goblin Guide? And if I do that, what is the result if they have a um, Eidolon? I think it's worth killing the Goblin. Because then next turn we take two damage from playing the map. And the turn after we can assemble our Tron, but not really do anything valuable with it. I, I'm thinking this game we're probably just screwed because we were on the draw against Burn. Um, but... Oh, they didn't have anything there? Okay. The problem is my draw has worked out super awkwardly here. I want to play this Chalice to prevent some amount of damage. The fact that they left their mana open means they likely have a bunch of two mana burn spells in their hand. Lightning Helixes, Boros Charms, etc. They're going to respond with a two mana burn spell, which is weird, but whatever. Um... I think this is worth doing just because there's a good chance we just slow roll up to four mana. I could play the Thought Not Seer, hit something out of their hand. Rift Bolts, things like Skewer the Critics. They have plenty of two mana burn spells, so there's a good chance we're just going to die anyway. Had we been on the play, this Chalice would have been a little bit more useful. Although, we, we haven't seen anything from their draw that actually suggests that we would have been okay. I mean, it's fine, Roy. Like, we there just wasn't realistically there wasn't anything we could do this game right but it's true Bur burn crushing me is a tale as old as time true as it can be do 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 zach's gonna die to burn I know that it didn't scan. It doesn't bother me. Uh, yeah, we can use that as a kappa. You, we, you can use it however you want, Roy. Just use it however you want, my friend. Skullcrack. All right, I'm at one. Womp womp. By Celine Dion? Whoa. Whoa. They listed the Emma Thompson one above the... No. No. What are with all... No. All... Ah. I googled Beauty and the Beast and the first like four answers were not the ones from the actual animated movie. Gross. God damn it, YouTube. God damn it, Google. All right, I feel like we just swap in spatial contortions for dismembers here. And we're probably good to go. I don't need relic. Uh, all of these one ofs are almost entirely just Karn wishes. Yeah, we'll be fine. Or we'll die. We'll see. We're on the play now, so. Tale is old as time. True as it can be. 
Had to fetch and shock. Tried to register rock. Dying on turn three. Hand seems good. Good memoirs. Not, not great memoirs. No, YouTube's father was uh, Shockwave.com. Y'all, yo, real talk. Who remembers Evom's World? Shockwave.com. Newgrounds. These were the parents of YouTube. Well, that's not a video hosting site, El Rodeos on. Uh, no, Napster, again, not a video site. Need to do a joint project with MTG Remy? He's too big. I, I have no... I mean, I don't know him. I've never met him before, but I'll probably make orphans of his children. No, I mean, I, I would, and I'm, I'm, I am writing a, um, a parody of, um... All right, you you can go reach out to him. I am writing a parody of uh, "See My Vest" um, from The Simpsons as "See My Dex." I've got uh, Emma Partlow attached as a co-writer. She hasn't written anything yet, but she says she's interested because it's Simpsons. Um, and I was uh, thinking about today doing a version of um, "The Gambler" with uh, you know you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Um, no when to mulligan, no when to keep. You never force that, you know. I, I haven't written it all out yet, but you gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Obviously works really well for magic. No when to mow the hand and no when to keep. You never count your foot. No, sorry. You never talk about your pick one. While you're sitting in your draft pod, there'll be time enough for bad beat stories when the deed is done. And so on and so forth. All right, I got Chalice on one, and I got Chalice on two. So we got to dodge some Rift Bolts. Never count your life points? Uh, we we got to figure, uh, Stoink, we got to figure out the right way to write it, but I, I don't, uh, I don't discount that that is being a potential line. Have you, have you, has everyone here heard, um, I've played, um, I've played everything? I think that's the name of the parody. Which is a parody of Johnny Cash's I've Been Everywhere. Yeah. Johnny Cash's I've Been Everywhere. I've played everything. MTG. Oh, it is a YouTube. Or it is a, a, a MTG Remy. Man, he is talented as fuck. I couldn't, I can't believe that was him. Him, Michael. All right, so we have an Eldrazi Temple. This is a land I didn't really talk about in the uh, deck description. So this allows you to. Um, this is a soul land, but you can use it for colorless Eldrazi spells. Um, this does actually work for all his dust, which is kind of interesting. Um, however, I don't think that I want to keep this hand against burn. Because I'm not doing anything until turn three on the draw. Um, this is not great. But I really don't think I can ask for too much more. <laughs> ah, Matter Reshaper. The Matter Reshaper of Etron. Yes. I probably was supposed to mull this hand again, but I don't know. 
Yeah, okay, Lava, Lava Spike is not as bad as a uh, Goblin Guide. I played everything, man, I played everything. There's a there's a great line in that uh, in that tune which is uh, oh I should have played the um, temple into your shaper here. I played four post eight post twelve post sixteen post. <laughs> That's fucking. <laughs> it's one of those things where you go holy crap yeah that probably was a thing. Those have all been things. In original Mirrodin block constructed um, four post would have been the build, and then. Um, all right. Is there anything I can get that's worth getting with Karn? Uh, yeah, four post. Yeah, seriously. There was ways to fetch it up and mirror it in block. I don't remember what it was, but I know it was true. Um, there's like nothing worth getting against uh, burn, huh? I guess worm coil, but I can't cast it. Sylvan Scrying, yeah, was in Mirrodin. That, that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. So you had... Yeah, well, so if I if I draw more mana, then we can worry about that. I mean, I guess I could play the Karn this turn, because if I rip the last Urza land next turn, I can play the Worm Coil immediately. But it's almost better, it's almost definitely better to just play one of these matter of shapers, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I'm just, I always, I always try to, like, actually talk it out rather than just slamming shit onto the board. I'm trying to be more of a Paul Zhu kind of um, e-tron player. Maybe it'll ramp us into our worm coil. We'll see. Good luck, little doodle. They're down to one card in hand. This feels good. Skewer to the face. Wow. That's bold. So they're just not attacking? Strange. I think I'm going to crack this Mind Stone. While theoretically it could delay playing Ugin... I have the I have enough mana this turn. Okay, so I can play the map, crack the map, and then have two mana, which really doesn't do anything for me. I can play the map, play the reshaper, attack for three, or just leave it as a blocker. And if I play a land this turn and play Karn. Next turn, I can have five mana post Karn, which doesn't really help me much. Play map X reshaper, have access to seven. No, there's no Witchbane Orb in this sideboard. Play map X reshaper, have access to seven. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. Yeah, that would be... That's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, sorry, I... I, I don't... I don't read... Uh, things like X as and. I don't know why. I'm probably just stupid. Um, yeah, play map and reshaper and have access to 7 next turn is, is very reasonable. Opponent does nothing? Okay. Seven mana gets us Ugin plus nothing. But then the turn after we go totally nuts. Seven mana gets us Karn into Liquid Metal Coating, which doesn't really do much for us. Or... Putting the Worm Coil in my hand doesn't help me. I 
I kind of want to just get the Radiant Fountain, play it, and then play Thought Not Seer. Obviously, I tapped the the wrong of the two Tron lands, but yeah. The downside of this is if the one card in their hand is Skullcrack, but what are you going to do? How could it not be, right? How could it not be? It's me playing against Burn. Deploy Karn? We can't deploy Karn. It's not an option. We were using an Eldrazi Temple to do what we did. Yep. If they hadn't had exactly Skullcrack, we would have been um, fine. But they did, and we died. Uh, no, they kind of had just, like, Lightning Bolt into Boros Charm. So... You know, I'm not I'm not gonna be upset about that. Because we could have blast zoned their goblin guide and, and swung for the kill that turn. So I think I played that game about as about as good as I could, and uh we we didn't make it, and that's fine. It's burn. It's burn town, baby. Yeah, the thing about that, Brian, is like you can't ban burn, and none of the cards that I think actually deserve being banned from the burn decks showed up in um, in any of those games. There was no Swift Spear. There was no Lava Dart. So. No, I know you are, Brian. I'm just saying. B Burn's obnoxious, but it's obnoxious in an easily hosable way. The problem with Modern is there's too many things that are obnoxious and easily hosable, so you can't cover, cover all the bases. There was a Lava Dart? There was no Lava Dart. There was a Lava Spike. They spiked me in many games, but there's no Lava Darts. Regular Burn doesn't play Lava Dart. Yeah. Lava Spart? Lava Dyke? Oh, wait, not that one. All right, keep this one. Darts is one of the worst sports slash games you've ever watched? I like watching darts. It's usually a bunch of, like, overweight Scotsmen. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a cis white male uh last god i don't think i can criticize dykes of any any um combination <laughs> no matter what you what what material you make it of i don't think i can just comment on it i don't i don't, I don't think i'm gonna come out very well sir is it i didn't even know they had different spelling you, you can't ask me things about spelling. There was something in my tweet um, for this stream where I couldn't figure out how to spell it until I realized it was supposed to only have one L. And I, I, I had I'd been like... I was like, I know how to spell this word, god damn it. And I kept trying, and I kept trying, and I kept trying. And then I gave up. And the moment I gave up, I was like, okay, how the hell do you spell it? And I right-click on the word, and it's like, you just put in one L, dude. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, I guess, I guess we're just stupid then. Um, I have two ballistas here, so let's just deploy one on one. I know I'm going to hit Tron next turn. Thirsty had no else. Thanks. Thank you. Was it spell? Because if it was, I misspelled it. No, I don't think so. What the hell was the word? I played everything, man. I played everything. So 
all his dust is uh, maybe looking real good here. We'll see. Oh, yeah, thanks, Last God. And thank you for the tweet. That was very kind. Okay, we have to wait for them to resolve the Titan before we, before I haul his dust here. I can put in a 4 4 Ballista, though. Although, I can attack first. No, putting in the 4 4 Ballista before I attack is probably the best. Get him, Mattery Shaper. They'll never block you. Except maybe with a plant token. They did not. Why did they block last turn and not this turn? I don't... Oh, fuck Valakut. Oh, but if they go for Valakut, I can shoot down the Dryad with my Ballistas. All right. This game is not going great, but it's not going horribly. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it, it really depends on how risk uh, positive they are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two fucking Valakuts, good lord. Primo, over salted garbage. Primo unsalted black beans, that's where it's at, Mike. Get yourself some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, grind those up in your food processor, and then what you wanna do, get yourself a pot, Get some olive oil in there, a little bit of garlic, you know, get that nice and fragrant. Then you add your chipotle uh, uh, annihilated deliciousness, and then you uh, and then you add the black beans on top of that. It's good eating. Chipotle peppers aren't real, Grandpa. Neither are my teeth, but I could still eat corn if someone mushes it into a fine paste. No Valakuts for you. Womp womp. We're still probably dead, but... But... I don't really have a follow-up for that. Yeah, but... They put an Azusa in their hand, all right? Dryad of the Elysian Groves, that is not. Smashy Lad? Oh, yeah. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. Everything's coming up Millhouse with this hand. Yo, opponent, all your shit's dust. Also, he has one Smashy Boy. Who would win? A titan of the forest or one smashy boy and his friends. So he's, he's not really alone. Mattery Shaper has freaking awesome art. Chris Ron, you, you just killed it. Look at It's like made of lava here. Summoner's pack. Well, fuck me. Oh, they went for Dryad? Oh, this is super terrifying. Please no. Mercy. Stupid sexy Dryad.
So if they have another Primeval Titan here, I'm super fu- Holy shit. I'm just gonna die, aren't I? I'm going to die from the triple Valakut fucking nonsense. He's just wearing leaves. Leaves and magic, sir. Oh, they're killing my creatures? Okay. Feels like there's some amount of hope. Yeah, if they have a bounce. Well, they're targeting my creatures, which makes me assume that they do not, in fact, have a bounce land. So, if I top deck my third Ballista or a Karn um, or an Ugin, I don't know if there's anything else, but another Smasher would be good. They have the Azusa in hand. So, yeah, if they have a bounce land, I'm super, super, super dead. But then why would they have targeted my creatures, right? Like, I don't... There's no... I'm tapped out. I mean, unless they just don't know how Etron works. They have one card in hand. What is it? Just a land. Okay, but not a bounce land. They're not going to kill my Shaper here. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's an interesting question, Stoink. All right, that's a draw. Wow, that's actually pretty good here. See ya. Dunk. All right, I got one card in hand. I think they should block this, but we'll see. Nope. Bold choice opponent. I'll hold on to my mystery card. They copied the bounce land. They would have done 24 damage. Was that not the turn where... No, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, they would have. Maybe they're bad? I know I am. All right, deck, you need a hit. That'll do. I've played everything, man, I've played everything. I played E-Tron, Blue-Tron, Green-Tron. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like um, Omelette is constantly picking up new players. It's, it is a very powerful, very... It's a very Timmy kind of deck. Um, I don't... I, I don't mean, like, that it is stupid, because it's not. But I do think that it appeals to people who just like to, like, flip a bunch of stuff into play and be like, oh my god, did you see the cool thing that I did? So, Dismember is way better than, um... Oh, Warping Whale is particularly awful in this matchup, right? Yeah, it is. I guess, in theory, I could counter an Explorer, but not bloody likely. Um, so, Spatial Contortion is probably better. I don't need Relics at all. The other Spatial Contortion is appealing, I just don't think that there's anything in this main deck i need to cut although i guess i could just cut a chalice because like chalice is generally not good against them i know they showed me adventurous impulse plus they're obviously playing amulet plus they're playing um pact no not pact pact Yeah, I think I kind of agree with that, Horny Vegan. And let's not forget the fact where it was... Um, it was basically the deck that, as far as Modern is concerned, got um, Once Upon a Time banned. Like, people can say what they want about the card Once Upon a Time and whether or not it should be legal in Modern, but the deck that got that card banned was Amulet. I, I have basically no doubts about it in my mind. Roy, hit the command. Oh, well, Twitter is fucking full of stupid people. 
We knew that. Do I want more walking blisters or do I want more chalices? On the draw. Ow, let's let's get the chalices in here. I love playing with chalice. Yeah, chalice on zero isn't bad at all. Hitting summoner's pack is big, big money. Yeah. And like obviously the blisters did a lot of heavy lifting that game, but they they don't always. Like the 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 amulet deck plays a lot of high toughness creatures. This hand is garbage. Opponent snap kept their seven, but that hand is just bad. That hand is just worse. This hand is just acceptable. Yeah, this hand is just acceptable. So, pitching the Ghost Quarter and the Reshaper kind of makes my curve really awkward and crappy. I'm, I think I'm supposed to pitch the Smasher. Because the way this sets up, we go turn one map, turn two Chalice, turn three um, Reshaper? No, I can't do that. All right, all right, all right. So, because I can't do that, because my Tron lands are in the wrong order... Um, I feel like I'm supposed to hold on to the Ghost Quarter. I'm not going to do it, but I feel like I'm supposed to. Ship both threats? Yeah, I guess so. Feels really bad because this build isn't playing... Um, I I agree, Mike, but this build isn't playing Maze Mind Tome, so I'm just like not comfortable doing that, but you're probably right. No matter what Future Zack says and whatever future vitriol that Future Zack um, spits upon you, um, just know that I, I truly in this moment believe that you're correct. Uh, yeah, I agree, Stoink. I just, that's, that's like why I wanted to keep it. Yeah. Do I just jam the Chalice on zero here? Because if I don't draw a threat, I kind of want to put it on one next turn. You like it? All right. I don't know. That feels so loose. Like, it's like a 50-50 chance of dealing with a summoner's pact in future. Yeah, like, there's no way There's no way they're going to pack this turn. Right? I mean, if they do, I'll eat my words, but... Force of Vigor. They might pack for Dryad Azusa, I guess, but then they would be taking turn three off. Maybe that's okay. They're playing at least, I would guess, 10 1 CMC spells. They got Castle Gaddenbrig. I'm guessing double impulse. All right, we're going to put the Chalice on zero. They've already played too many one drops. Yeah, we're, we're putting Chalice on zero. I was interested on Chalice on one, but they played two Adventurous Impulses already, so... And the Arbo Ar Arboreal Grazer that's sitting in play, so... Hmm. That's... something. <laughs> I know, right? So now it's like a weird catch-22 of like, do I ghost quarter their Simic Growth Chamber this turn to set them back? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I have no flipping clue. They already played the Simic Growth Chamber. That's not what I want. And they have the Castle Garenbrig in turn in hand. So they can't tighten this turn. Um, unless they have a bunch of stuff we don't know about. Um, 
But ghost quartering them seems okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because the longer the game goes, the, the more likely Chalice on zero is to mess with them. I guess I should draw step it. Yeah. Because if they draw their last basic... I mean, they, they play a lot of basics in this, these builds, but... Well, it doesn't matter, right? Statistically, we could analyze that, Mike, and try to find out, but the, the real... The real like this is rubber hitting the road here. So it doesn't it doesn't matter anymore which deck has better top decks, it's which one top decks better in the specific game. Unless that's exactly what you're saying, which probably was. And then I'm being facetious for no reason like a nerd. Triple adventurous impulse. All right. Respect. Y'all, respect. Well, they, they can't pack, right? A copy growth chamber, I would guess. Yeah. What's up, Jam Rock twenty eighteen? Good year. Uh, I don't know, let's just get an extra tower. Ahoy, hoy. Ahoy. Well, <clears throat> Julian Blair, I remember you. How's the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu treating you and the Magic Arena? And the weight loss. You're looking good, brother. Brother! Uh, it doesn't counter lands because lands are colorless, Roy. Why do they keep not attacking? Thank you. Finally. Arena is shit. You are not wrong. Hey, -o! I like that one. I like that one. Let's see you jam, sucker. You got nothing on me. Obviously, I could have waited for um, Titan or more threats, but honestly, it seems like they're just flailing around doing nothing. I have to assume there are multiple packs in their hand. Well, okay, let's find out. What, uh, what are you doing over there? And modern. Okay. Um, all right. Um, this is not for a record or anything. That's this one's for Twitter. I guess. I guess. I found a threat. Uh, they had threats. I just you know removed them. I guess their deck is playing approximately fifty percent lands, and they have played three adventurous impulses. So. I mean, I guess. Oh, I thought I should play a thought not seer, but then I thought, no, that's terrible. All right. Um. 
Let's see if they top decked a uh, pact. One assumes that they top decked something. Ha <laughs> ha, they did! I love it. Oh, I love it. It's okay, if Saffron Olive ever retires, I'll just become a full-time Saffron Olive impersonator. Hello, it's Zach. Probably better name, better known, better known, better known as Mana Symbol. And it's time for a little bit of Eldrazi Tron. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can go five, five, Ballista. And this is a lethal. So we are get Ballista and we are make attack for eight. Mandrea Mengucci is not so good yet, but uh, someday, someday. Yay! I I haven't done that in on stream in forever, but when there was in store play and LGSs, I would get people to crack up with my impressions of both Seth and um, the professor. What is in store play? That's a really good question, Alex. <laughs> Can confirm on wizard. Yeah, but Roy, you're a wizard of like actual things. Roy, you can do like math and gaming, like on an actual level. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas, like, I'm a wizard of, like, being mediocrely entertaining. <laughs> Your record against pitchers. <laughs> pitchers get bitches. Wait, I mean, stitches? I mean... Aw, oh, stoink. Man, I, I enjoy the professor at regular speed, but that's because, like, the professor talking about topics is how I talk about topics. Like, you really have to be my friend not to have me talk to you like I'm lecturing. Many Magic the Gathering modern players ask the question, is Tron balanced? There are many different ways to play Tron in the modern format. Some are better by a lot. Let's find out. To be fair, his script writing was always better than that. He never wrote something as gr grammatically, grammatically. Can someone actually tell me which one of those is correct? I've been asking the question so long, I've, I've, I forget if I ever actually knew the answer. Grammatically sounds correct, but grammatically sounds better. Opponent leads on forest into nothing. Their name is tempo control. I have questions. No, I know how to pronounce grammatically, but grammatically would be spelled differently, period. So, you know. Oh, wow. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. So I think I'm going to slow roll this hand and go get Tron. Am I? I guess I could just get Eldrazi Temple and start jamming Thought Nazi Ears. But that leaves me kind of stranded. Do they play main deck Rex Age? I don't think so. Because they don't play any tutors, right? So they'd have to play like three to reliably find them. So I don't... I don't think so. Um, the problem with going for bridge off of Tron that quickly is... That I'm not, um, 
I'm not going to be empty handed, but like, do, do I have Ballista in the sideboard? Is there a side? Yeah, there's a sideboard Ballista. All right. All right, we're just going to slow roll this hand and go for Tron. Uh, we have a tower, so they called it a mine. A mine. So we'll have eight mana. I can play Ugin into Karn or Ugin into Thought Nuts here. Both are good. We'll see what they're up to. Yeah, that's what I that's what I thought, Mike. But thank you for doing the work. I could always Ugin to blow up their Archdruid and Thought Nuts here. Obviously, before I decide what I'm going to do with my Ugin, I'll play the Thought Nuts here and see what's in their hand. Power Plant is the missing Tron land. Um, what's the most tilting thing to get? The whiteboard one. Nice. Deck had been covered. Well, I've jammed everything, man. I've jammed everything. All right. They don't have another land. So if they top deck a land, yeah, they could collect a company, but I don't really care. So I'm taking Shaman of the Pack, and I'm going to blow up their Arc Druid. Arch Druid? I'm going to say Arch Druid, even though I say Arc Mage, and I don't care about people's opinions. Don't at me. Well, here comes the Coco. I'm sorry, what? You know those don't go into play, right? I... I... Okay. But why? I'm confused and aroused. Uh, Roy, prep my bedroom. <laughs> All you have to do, Roy, is lay out the velour bedsheets. It's real velour. Listen, as long as I can hit that bullseye, the rest of those dominoes are going to fall like a house of cards. Checkmate. <laughs> oh, man. Walking ballista, X is equal five. And we are make cast. And... Uh, we make a ping, and that is probably the game. Not gonna TK us and steal their call. I just don't give a shit, bro. like, Mike. Like, look at my board. What do I care? They can't- there's nothing they could hit that I would be remotely afraid of. I- there's- there- there- I don't- I can't- there's no- even if I have to go into a defensive posture from this point, like, if they cocoed into the most insane cards, which would be, like, Heritage Druid plus Dwinnin's Elite or um, the Elvish Warmaster, I still think I just wouldn't care. Okay, Spatial Contortion's coming in. Uh, Warping Whale can probably suck it. That's <laughs> fine. Uh, I just need to find what to cut. Dismember's fine. Uh Thanks for the follow, Bert7770. Yeah, wh whale's fine. I mean, it's crappy if they have a lord in play, but... Ugin might be too slow. Whoa, whoa, Skull Clamp. When did we ever hate Etron? I never hated Etron. I like Etron. I don't like losing to Etron. Yeah, I... I saw him, I was he streaming that deck or something like it though, Jiggy? I swear to God, I saw him or someone else streaming something that sounded like you. It had Lizov in the title. Um, but I, I, I've redeemed um, points for deck techs from Spike before, Jiggy, and been very disappointed with the results. So 
I would say take it with a grain of salt. He was dono to brew around Lazav. I blame you for that, and by blame I mean credit. He made a bad shadow deck. I mean, you know. It was someone on our Discord? That's awesome. Yo, we're influencers. All right. Um, they can put out a gigantic board of terror. So what if I board out one smasher and one shaper? Yeah. To be fair, Jiggy, most of Spike's decks involve like 80 to 90% very playable modern cards. Um, and I feel like some of the decks that we've put together are like 80 to 90% not so playable modern cards. We've made some very high synergy decks that are different levels of successful. All right, this hand is not awful. It's not great, but it's not awful. Yeah, Spike's like a blue player through and through, which is what makes him such a good Jund player. Like, he's such a good control player that, that he, he makes a good Jund player. I have been a uh, subscriber to Aspiring Spike for 11 months, though, so I'm... Nothing but respect for the man. I've played so many of his decks on stream. So many. You you won't rip the power plant? Yo, yo, come at me, Jiggy. Oh, no. Yep. There goes my all's dust. All right, so... Play Matter Reshaper this turn, but I'm pretty sure instead I'm going to deploy Mindstone and then play a 2-2 two -two Ballista next turn and take out this Heritage Druid. I guess I just could have sniped off um, Donation Link, please. Can't go to PC. Do you want to donate to me or do you want to donate to Spike? Because Spike is great. Oh, Roy, look at fucking you, man. Jesus. I owe you a picture. I mean, that would happen anyway because, you know, I was pretty likely to lose a bet to you, but, you know, whatever. And also, fuck you. <laughs> Damn it, Jiggy. Why did you curse me like that? <laughs> Lol, novice Tron player didn't set up the right top decks. What a nerd. Spaz. And I had one of my important cards thoughts eased instead of keeping it on top. What what was I thinking? That all his dust clearly should have been on top. Ayo! Skull Clamp, is that for your Friday donation deck? I should have pinged for one damage. Um, but I have sixed. I'm not gonna worry about it. All right, so Skull Clamp, that's for your Friday uh, Legacy donation deck. Please send me a list, as I got my list from Last God about his modern deck. So you gotta you gotta give me the hookup. Yeah, yeah, deal's totally on for tomorrow. Would you prefer that your deck was streamed um, at approximately eight or at approximately eleven? It's up to you. Um, cause you've given me more money than last God has. Or they have no cards in hand. Uh, thought not see are still better. Dude, I'll play oops. The problem with oops is why would you spend so much money to have me play oops? It's going to take an hour. Dude, I, I, I played Spanish Inquisition on stream multiple times. Uh, EST. Eastern Standard Time. 
So currently it's 9.06 Eastern Standard Time. So adjust for wherever you are. Where are you at, Skull Clamp? I played Skull Slag Fiend for free, sir. And it was as terrible as I thought it would be, but God damn it, I gave it a chance. I mean, God bless it. I mean, God damn it. Eight? Sure, you got it. Where where are you at, Skull Clamp? Where are you at of? Your mountain time? So what, what is it, seven? Or is it eight for you now? 8.07? It's a pretty freak funny list. Montana. A butte from butte. Miss South Carolina. But nothing could be finer. At seven. Okay, so you're two hours back. So you, you want it at 6 p.m. your time? That's fine by me. I just. All right. Perfect. I gotta blow up this Warmaster with Ugin, I think. It's right when you get home. Are you sure you wouldn't rather have me start at like 6.30 your time then? Just in case you're a little slow? Sure. Just, uh, I, I, I'm willing to bump it back to 8.30 my time, 6.30 your time if you like. Do I crack this Mind Stone to try to pick up a land so that I can play the Ugin but dig deeper? Oh, whatever. It's fine. Oh. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I'll, I'll do it at 8.30 my time tomorrow. So we'll go live early tomorrow. We'll play some Silver Gak in the practice lobby. And then at 8.30-ish EST, that's 5.30-ish um, Pacific. And then nobody else gets a time zone because that's how TV sh uh, networks do it. Um, then uh, we, we don't have an EE, Jiggy. That's just not an option. Um I'm going to down tick on the War Master because they have a Heritage Druid in play, plus the War Master generates extra tokens. So I just. Uh... Well, the, the funny thing, Caustic, is there's two time zones in the middle. Two! I didn't know that for a long time, but there's two. There's two time zones in the middle. Holy shit. What? What is this world in which we don't give them. To... It's always. Like, as far as I was ever growing up. There was two time zones they'd give for, for TV shows. It would be East Coast and West Coast. And it took a long time for my idiot brain to figure out that there should have been another time zone in between there. Like, holy crap. What the hell? What is this disrespect for, uh, what is it, CMT and Mountain Time? Yeah, Central Mountain Time. But there's another one. Yeah, Pacific Mountain and Central Central Eastern. There you go. Yeah, but like, regardless of what they're actually called, and regardless of whether or not I can recall them, um, it, it just feels like serious disrespect. So much shade. All right, so tomorrow at 8.30, uh, my time, we'll start with uh, Skullclamp's deck, and then we're going to play Last God's deck. Well... I guess we know which one of these tri these tribes right here is superior. Lake Superior, that is. West Coast. Listen, listen, I've got my... Wow, they flooded so badly. Brutal. I feel sorry for you, opponent. But I'm still going to kill you. But can we just seriously talk for a half second about how incredibly well-defined this land where elf is? Dude, his delts are fantastic. His traps are gigantic. 
What the fuck? Where, 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 where can I sign up to be a druid? Julian, you still here? Yo, we should go be druids, apparently. We want to get ripped. Uh, let's get the boat. Boat guy here? Either way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, okay. Squats? Squats do not get you an arm like that, friend. Squats do not like, get you an arm like that. Maybe if you did some crazy ass burpees. <laughs> no problem, Roy. Uh, hopefully, you enjoy exposure to puppy. Skull clamp, your life sounds fantastic. You feel like, it feels like your description of your life is like one of those idyllic spots that, so on my first ever cruise ship contract, I went to Portland, Oregon, we got on the ship, and then it sailed down this river, which I'm sure is very well known there, but obviously being a jack off from Canada, I didn't ever ask what it was, but it is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in the world. And one of the most strange experiences I've ever had of being on this, like, apartment building sized ship going down a relatively small river with people in their actual fishing boats and with their, like, houses on the side of the river. Jiggy, you're from Portland, right? What, what the hell is the name of that river? It's probably super famous and I probably should know what the name of it is, but... Well, apparently right now, if you look up uh, Portland on Google, you get something about murder. Someone, someone murdered someone. It is the Columbia River. And you can take it all the way into the ocean. Uh, okay, is this a keeper in the dark? Um, yeah, it is. Not great on the draw, but I'll take it. Yeah, you actually have to go north. The Columbia River. What about the Willamette River? Uh, I don't know anything about the Willamette River. Holy crap, Skull Clamp. Good for you. Yeah, I think it was the Columbia Jiggy. Uh, so we're keeping this. Can you complain about your matchups uh, at that point in your life, um, Brian, with like an old man voice? Ah, Titan Shift! I haven't seen red, green, Titan shift since it re-became viable in 2021, it was. Bandero, Titan of Nature's Wrath, they did. Oh, there was a morning that evening. Oh, but it wasn't just Uro they banned. No, they banned the Shibian Spirit Guide. Took combo right out of the format, it did. Except, of course, for all those people still playing Storm. Boy, those were the days. All right, looks like we either hit Niv or BTL shift. Um, they can't turn their Valky into a Thought Not Seer anytime soon, and even if they could, I don't know why they want to. Um, but Temple means that I can fetch another Tron piece and still play Thought Not Seer next turn. Whoa, Rokokoa. 
Etron is not in a dark side deck, right? All those Swiss Spear decks I played last week, those were those were much darker. Uh, X Glimpse X, thank you for the follow. I've cultivated a personality here, Mike. But I would I would argue that Etron is a very fair deck compared to what the rest of modern is. So, you know. Plus, Etron is getting an influx of um, old border cards. Spent a while in the military as a medic, learned how to run parts of a clinic hospital, got a degree in medical admin, dumped my life savings and Bitcoin into my own facility. Wow, dude. Sounds like a stand-up, you know, thing to do. Uh, league's going well, Odins. I think we're 2-1. and one. I lost to Burn, but it was a close match, and then everything else has been pretty uh, easy-peasy. Bounding Quasis. All right, looks like we're against some kind of BTL Kiki deck, which I saw Davis Minimus talking about. They've got Double Bring the Light. Well, fuck me sideways. I better get myself my thought and I'll say your bet next turn. <sighs> Otherwise, we're going to be deader than, I don't know, something really, really dead. Uh, I think this is Davis Minimus's BTL Kiki Shift. Shift is the wrong word. Uh, uh, BTL Kiki... Uh, BTL Kiki deck. It's weird that I know what they're on. Like, this is one of those things where it's like, I look at my life and go, God damn it, I play way too much modern. I mean, it could be a Vanifar deck. I don't think so. They turned their guy into... Okay, but that's what I wanted, opponent. That's what I wanted. You don't understand. Oh, I should have, um... Hey, what the f... Brian with, uh, gifting the sub to Odin's. What a, what a incredible human Brian Madden is. Oh, God damn it, you guys. Yeah, I know, I know. He, he does need, uh... An icon. I wish I could just give things to everyone and not have to worry about money for anyone. On the plus side, good on the United States for uh, managing to get their shit together and passing that stimulus bill. Let me tell you something. I wouldn't have been able to do so many things I was able to do over the last... Does Kiki kill us? I mean, it would, but they don't have any BTLs left. I've taken them all away. They don't have triple red in play, so they would need to draw Kiki and the third red in one draw step, which I don't think they could do, necessarily. I hope so. Most of the speeches have been good. Considering we're listening to the oldest president that's ever been elected to office... Well, you have access to the emotes, Odense, and that's what matters. Hmm. Well, that, I mean, that that's just, um, Brian, that's just Twitch being, you know, a normal internet platform. Okay, I think, I think I should wait a turn before attacking because I don't want to give them an extra card when they could just, like, kill me off the top. Yeah, I, I would love to get some feedback on what people think I should do for incentives. I don't know what kind of stream that people think that I am or think that they would want out of me. So I just don't really have any idea. Like, I don't really want to do like pay me beans to get deck techs when I just would do those for free any day of the week because why why would I not, you know? Oh, sorry. Crank. 
a stream with fire? I mean, I have a fireplace here in the condo. I could stream with the fireplace behind me. Drum solos? Well, I can't set up my drums in the condominium, so that doesn't really fly. Pyrotechnics. I mean, I, I could burn vodka. I do that when I make a, a vodka cream sauce. I could also uh, burn Ray and Nephew rum. It's like 63%. Super, super high. Guest spots with famous people? I mean, I'd have to get the famous people on board, so... I mean, maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I could do drum solos here, but I wouldn't be here very long. But then, you know, it's not only my living situation, so I really don't think that that's fair. My opponent has gone to one. Opponent, you're a bold soul. I respect you. You're playing a combo deck, and you could win off the top, and you're playing like it. If you kill me here, nothing but respect. No way. They got it. Oh my god. Unfucking real. I took away two BTLs, they top decked another one. Yep. Nice. Four cards in hand. None of them useful. Yeah, I don't have, I don't own an electric drum set. I mean, I could rent one, but renting one for ch channel reward seems uh, insane. I have an electric piano too, uh, Mike. It's nice, but it's not at all like a real one. I think I'd rather have Relic than any number of Chalices against this archetype. Yeah, J Jiggy, that's... um. I mean, you did that once upon a time, right? And that was reasonable. Story time? But, like, would I get to choose the story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do I get to choose what I read? And, like, is it while I'm playing matches or not? What's up, Strafo? Made your class listen to Toad Sings Into the Unknown at the end of their last class today, and they loved it. I mean, it feels like that's the right generation. I, I have not yet seen Frozen 2. I assume it's from Frozen 2, because it's not from Frozen 1. Frozen 1 was pretty good. I mean, um, What's It Called was blown completely out of proportion as being a good song, but... Did nobody supply me with the answer for that? I feel like that song is so famous and was annoying because a bunch of children sang it. Dramatic reading a Simpsons script. I mean, I could do that. I would love to do that. One time I read... What did I read? It was something from American Psycho. Uh, what is the name? Let it, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go was the name of the famous song from Frozen. Thank you. I literally couldn't remember what it was because I just don't care. It's not a particularly good song and it wasn't particularly well handled in the movie. Feet picks a no? Yes, feet picks are a no. No one's getting feet picks. That just feels really weird. I mean, I would, but like, I'd have to be getting something pretty good out of it. And I really don't want to say the words of like what I would deem as something good to be getting out of that. Never realized it was a low-key nod to let it snow. Is it, though? It's just like... <laughs> I, 
I can't even with that song, dude, though. I can't. I d what the fuck is this hand? Do we think they're playing more than one Kiki Jiki? Probably not. I have a dismember, though, so we can go attack here. And then if they deploy the Bounding Quasis in response, then I get to kill it. The fuck is that hand? A bad one. That's the kind of hand you get when you're someone who plays control and someone's like, yo, play this deck in modern. It's a combo control deck. So you don't feel so impotent when you're playing against people who are playing prowess and burn. And you're like, yo, that sounds dope. I get to play a control deck, but I'm also playing a combo. And then you realize that you're basically playing the same control deck you were playing before, but with a bunch of cards in your deck that are garbage. It's like, Oh, I drew Bounding Crest. Band cre I'm calling myself out. Yes, 100%. Whenever I play like combo control decks in Modern, I'm always like, what the fuck was the point of this? I just made my... Com <laughs> if I wanted to play a combo deck, I'd play a goddamn combo deck. I wouldn't play a control deck with like a tiny amount of combos spliced into it because that almost always leads to pain. <laughs> you rants better than this one. We had everything tonight, Roy. We had uh, criticism of Frozen. We, 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 we had it all. It's good. Let It Go is an acceptable song. The, the bigger problem is that it's not particularly well-deserved. Twin is not a combo control deck, though. Period. Twin, Twin is a, a tempo deck with a combo kill. Twin, twin is not and never has been a control deck. <laughs> My opponent is essentially playing twin right now. Pioneer Inverter. Yeah, that's a, that is a that is a uh, that is a combo deck with a like a control shell around it. Yes. What was your point about it? Like I didn't enjoy playing Inverter. Like that's the thing is because when I would play Inverter, I'd end up with multiple Thassa's Oracle or multiple Inverters in my hand on games where I needed interaction or slower mid rangey things, and it was like, why am I playing all this garbage? It's for the combo kill. Huh. And why do I want to do that again? I'm not saying the deck was not good. It was obviously good. It was obviously a deck that could be played at the absolute height of magic playery by people like, and people who I highly respect like Canister. I'm just saying that I didn't enjoy those decks because philosophically I just want to play an actual control deck. Yeah, and combo control was good then because all the other uh, best decks were just straight combo. It was uh, Heliod, Ballista, and uh, Breach. So playing the more controlling deck with the combo kill could sort of validate control players um, in the only combo is acceptable format. It's kind of like in Vintage, like there are control decks available, but most control players play combo control because there's no reason not to play combo decks. Uh, I'm just going to grab my water bottle, which somehow I did not do.
Uh, Psychotog was combo control. Uh, Stoink has a very obvious and clear point. Tog, Tog was not 100% control, Jiggy. It was control with a combo finish, which is a version of... No, you you can't just... You, you can't say that. You can't be like, oh, it was control. It just ended the game really fast. No, because that's like... Not, I mean, maybe if you're playing Emrakul for full retail value, you could say that, but... All right. Uh, I know what I'm against... This hand has nothing to play on turn three or four. It is control, but it's control with a combo finish. Now, you can define that as combo control or just say the words control with a combo finish, but there is a combo that they use to end the game, which is two cards. So it's very like Inverter. You spend your whole game uh, jockeying into position where your two-card combo ends the game relatively fast. Whereas, like, actual control, in my opinion, would play, like, something for, like, five to nine mana and then just kill you over three or four turns with that. Or even longer, depending on what the card is. Uh, opponent kept their seven. Yeah, this is not an exciting hand. <sighs> but, uh, blah, 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 blah. Relic doesn't do anything here, but it's like a cycler. I I have no Tron lands, and I'm concerned I'm going to draw like two over the next five turns. Ship it? All right, fine. That one's good. I like this one. We're going to keep this one. Yep. This one seems fine. <laughs> Well, foil is tempo, but saber is aggro in terms of fencing. As far as my limited knowledge of fencing goes from having dated someone who did fencing in university goes, yes. So 4-4 four, four, Ballista next turn, followed by 4-4 four, four, Ballista the turn after. All right. All right, I fucks with that. Uh, yeah, they could do that, Mike. Although I, I didn't have an, um, I didn't have a expedition map. So it's no guarantee in their mind that I have Tron. No, you were incorrect. You were 100% incorrect. Wow, you were incorrect so hard. God, Mike, how does it feel to be so wrong? Is it, is it good? I can't imagine that it would be. I'm so sorry. Just, oh. What just happened? Eatron happened. Can we redeem full episodes of The Simpsons on stream for one million beans? Sure. Sure. <laughs> wow all right let's go combat i don't know attack for three how do you like an opponent how do you like it when your opponent has like ludicrously powerful cards in their deck and they're just like no i'm not gonna play that one they settle my ballista 
Okay, so I can crank the Ballista in response, kill their Deceiver Exarch, and then play Karn with one, two, three mana open, and get and play Torpor Orb? Or get and play Liquid Metal Coating? Or Blast Zone them two mana back? These are all great options. Settle gives you an extra Ballista to Karn. I know I could sack it till 1-1, one, one, but... Um, sack until 1-1, one, one, then play Karn using the Ballista that we just exiled. Okay, I get, I get what you're saying, Roy. I just don't think that that was written very clearly. I think the right thing to do is crank the Ballista in response, kill the Exarch, not get a Wastes, because let's be real, Wastes. Um, and then I have five, six, seven mana. So we play Karn, and we get Torpor Orb, and we play a Torpor Orb, because their deck. Um, and then we're just generally in a winning position. The other option would be to get Liquid Metal Coating to cut them off of three mana, but we can always do that in the future. I don't think that that's necessary it might be but i feel like the the drain on their resources is good enough not to be overly harsh i just i don't know just being a good good magic playing internet asshole temporarily i apologize you like not dying first me too Do I want to get Liquid Metal? Is it... Li liquid Metal... The problem with Liquid Metal is that they have a Bolt. So... Let's just get the Torpor Orb and just shut them out of this game. Liquid Metal Coating shuts down their combo? Uh... If... No? Torpor Orb sure as hell does, though. Did you mean Torpor Orb? They can't activate artifacts. Their combo is Kiki Jiki and creatures that enter the battlefield. So I'm not sure if you... You can tag their Kiki. Only if I keep the Liquid Metal coating up all the time. And I assume that my Karn never ever dies. Which, like, I guess that's possible? No, I understand what you're saying. I'm just saying this is kind of sketchy. Like, I'm not saying you're not right. You are correct if everything goes exactly as planned. But I I don't particularly... Maybe it's the control player in me. Um, but I, 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 don't, I don't think I'm that lucky. Um, I don't need the Ballista this big. If the last card in their hand is Mana Leak, which I know I haven't seen out of them yet, but um, let's just make a 3-3 Ballista. And let's knock them down two mana. Oh, and then let's plus the Karn. Whack him with the Noggin Stone? I could. I'd rather crack one of them to draw a card. Two damage is very tempting, Stoink. But I'm pretty sure just drawing an extra card is probably more valuable when I have this much mana, etc, etc, etc. Also, next turn, I can sacrifice my Karn to go get Sundering Titan and then realize that I have a Torpor Orb in play and feel like an idiot. So that's a very viable play. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I I always like to talk out the bad lines that I don't want to do. 
<laughs> Sundering Titan didn't. Sorry, Sunder Titan didn't want to uh, destroy my lands anyway. <laughs> I love that line. I didn't even sack the Mind Stone like I said I was going to because I'm bad. Um, oh, they're paying costs? They get another settle? Holy shit. That's the joke, Roy. I I don't know if that was the joke. I don't know what Sundare is. I know what it means, but I don't know what it is. Hey, we did it! Yay, magic. I don't know, I kind of like this Etron deck. Kind of like it. Feels good. But I know, I know what everyone's here for. I know what everyone's here for, though. Jig, you know what they're here for. Everybody's here for the main attraction. Your boy. The grindiest of boys. You're here for investment advice? My investment advice is go somewhere else. Well, it's not a pyramid skull clamp MTG. It's a trapezoid. I know you've heard a lot of uh, bad things about those pyramid schemes, but uh, I have to tell you, this is based on the humble trapezoid. Help me sell all my family overpriced knives. I can't help you with that one. All right, this is for the four one, baby. Hand is a banger, let's go. Let's go! Oh, I love that. You guys think my opponent's gonna be incredibly relieved when my turn three Tron vomits out a Reality Smasher and a Mind Stone? I think they will be. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't remember when I said quote 200, but my God, am I glad that that's quote 200. That's so ratchet. What you're telling me, Roy, is if I'm going to make that set of plays, that I should lead on the Mind Stone. So they're like, oh, thank God, it's Etron. And then hit them with the Smasher, and they're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot, Etron is threatening. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You gotta Roy them. Always Roy them. Don't Roy them because it's a smart, technically useful play in any way. Always Roy them because you can. It's like in chess when, like, I, if you were playing chess, Roy, I feel like there's good psychological value in just, like, randomly fondling pieces that are really, really terrible moves. Um, while you, of course, are thinking about the correct move. Lol, no. Touch, move, touch, take. I have no idea what that means. That, that, that those words have no meaning to me. 
Touch move, touch take. Don't want all chess pieces. <laughs> but some of them look like nipples. It's not my fault. Alright, so... Go get Spyglass with Karn and name Snoop. Feel like is the one and only plan for this turn. Um, I can play Mind Stone as well. So, yeah. So we'll lead on the Mind Stone. Needle name Snoop. We can't do that, but we can Spyglass, which is close enough. Okay, Torpor Orb. Uh, I could Torpor Orb if they just flip... Um, Kiki Jiki off the top with Snoop, I would still die. But you know what? I like your plan, Mike. I really do. So I'm going to do that. So if they literally just face up Kiki and they have... You know what? It would be almost impossible for them to do that. All right. We're going to play the Torpor because it's much, 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 much better. This cuts off a ludicrous amount of the power of their deck. Thank you for the suggestion, Michael. That was way better than the other plan. The other plan would make us 100% protected from death. And Conspicuous Snoop can still play cards off the top of their library. But, like, they can play a 2-mana 1-1. One, one. No, but, like, yeah. But, I mean, if I got punished there, I would not say that it was the wrong play. Um, Trashmaster might not be main deck. And if it was on top and they had another goblin, yeah, maybe. Maybe that would punish us, but not super likely. That one does. That one does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they might be playing more than one crater maker. So I can blow up the Snoop here. Boot up my Torpor Orb? No, because if they have, um, what's it called? Tar Fire, that goes badly. They're going to draw a Munitions Expert that doesn't do anything unless they kill my Torpor Orb first, so that's pretty unlikely. Let me play a Smashy Boy. Make Orb a blocker. Well, that's what I was thinking of, Vegan, but the reason I'm not doing it is because they ha could have Tar Fire in their hand, which they do play. The real question here for me is, do I just start smashing? Do I have a second Smasher in my hand plus a Karn? I think I'm supposed to just start attacking and just be like, listen, I don't give a fuck. Forgot I could play Smasher? Oh, yeah. Yeah, th see this card over here? This card is obscene. Obscene. Now, the problem with attacking here is they could just attack down my Karn and then pop my Ugin. Whereas, if I don't attack with the Smasher, this puts them in a much more awkward position. I know I have a hand that could... Yeah, I prefer it as a blocker. Even though my hand is, like, theoretically very aggressive, making their game as awkward as possible feels fantastic. Blow up the Torpor Orb. Okay. I, I assume they're going to play their Munitions Expert to kill my Ugin this turn, which is fine. Um, I ordered my Modern deck from Card Kingdom for my Modern Tournament on Monday, but it probably won't be here by then, but it will be by next Friday. Also, making my Legacy deck list minus sideboard, and I found a new cool card. What's your new cool card, Team Sinso? Okay, so this is going to kill my Ugin. That's fine. False Dawn. A mine. And they called it a mine. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's it's all good. 
Uh, one on white. Until end of turn, spells and abilities you control that would add colored mana instead that that much white mana. Until end of turn, must be one mana for any other color. What are you gonna do with False Dawn? All right. Um, I just wanted Ballista here. Here's a big one. Smash. GG opponent. There's no way out for you. My fucking ballista is going to kill the shit out of you, you little nerd. Treasonous Ogre, Children of Corliss. Sigil of the New Dawn, Enduring Renewal, draw three kill, turn three kill. Neat! I wish you the best of luck with that combo. That seems crazy. Oh, really? Interesting, Roy. Matron. Okay. To get what? Another munitions expert? It's not really going to help you, but okay. Well, I've killed everything, man. I've killed everything. It's the song of a walking blister. I've pinged everything, man. I've pinged everything. Killed an animate soul ring, man. I've pinged everything. All right, so spatial contortion is coming in here. A warping whale is definitely going out. And it's once again the chalice out matchup. I think. I don't have to cut necessarily like all my chalices, but relic is good. Is it? Is relic good? No, relic's not good. Okay, apparently I submitted a 61 card deck. I'm okay with it. Thanks for the follow, the nice twin. Am I keeping this hand? It seems really bad. They multi six. I too will multi six. This is much better. Thank you. Is it good? Eh, it's fine. Ooh, Skirk Prospector. Oh my. Well, I guess I know what my expedition map is getting me. Alrighty. Just found your channel tonight. You seem like you'd be a fun dude to play magic with in person. Ah, oh, I, I do my best. I do my best. I'm not perfect, but who is? Don't have a sideboard, but give the deck list a gander. I will. No, Roy, we already got the, the Oracle text, so I 
Printed text. Colored mana symbols on all permanents you control and on all cards you own that aren't in play become white until end of turn. Draw a card. What a ridiculous card. What did they grab? Cranko. Wild. Flavor text of giant spider, which one? I feel like at least one flavor text of giant spider should be clever girl. Yeah, see what Roy just looked up? That was what I meant because holy crap, that's a lot of flavor texts of giant spider. Good draw. Okay. Um, so we go with that member. Bloop. The price of a paper opt. I feel like you're just trolling at this point. Not that I mind. V vegan, if you are trolling, could you at least tell Roy that you're trolling? Because... You know, I um, I don't think he minds you trolling. It'd just be good to know because he, like I, am very gullible with people on the internet not using Kappa. They didn't include the E-prices either. Let's fix that up. Come on, let's get the E-prices. All right, how many did they draw? One, two, three... Uh, yikes. Puts Patchlick Mons, Goblin Ringleader, Goblin Chieftain in their hand. Oof. Alrighty. Alrighty. I get to Thought Knot, their Ringleader, so that's not too bad. Lucy, you've got some spleening to do. That is some A plus flavor text. Holy shit. <laughs> Deploy the hand harvesters. Deploying hand harvesters. Uh, I guess most of my lands are just mountains, so, uh, let's get another Wastes in case I need to play both, like, a Contortion and a Thought Not Seer in a single turn. That's a draw that I'm not gonna play this turn, but I might be playing next turn. A woohoo! Da, 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 a woohoo! Oh man. All these are so high value. Boo. Um pretty sure I have to take the ringleader, but letting them have Pashalik Mons plus Snoop next turn doesn't see so good. But pretty sure that's what we're up to. What are the three drops in my deck? No, not that deck. This deck. Shapers and Dismember. I've already played one Dismember. If I play Chalice on three, is that insane? It's not, right? You think the moon kills me. You think the moon kills me. The moon clearly hasn't killed me. Obviously, the moon is problematic. But, like... We're fine. Like if we if we start top decking like wa walking bl Pashlik Mons, what? I need more words. You're not explaining enough of what you're thinking. Oh, the Mons kills me. The Mons doesn't kill me. I'm at thirteen. I'm not dead at all. The Snoop into Sling Gang on top is like terrifying. It blocks forever? I can beat forever blockers. That That's like not even a question, dude. We have Karns in our deck. We're good. Um, so they kept both the three drops in their hand? 
All right, so that seems fantastic. Obviously, they're going to get Sling Gang, and yes, that's going to be scary, but I can contortion it. Chalice on three, baby. Nice Cavern of Souls opponent. How's that going for you? Is it good? You like that? Well, we died in the combo. No, 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 it's okay. They, oh, no, 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 no. I have a chalice on three. They can't play the Harbinger. That's amazing. That's amazing. I love that. All right, we're good. We're good. We're not dead. We're very much not dead. And I can spatial contortion the sling gang this turn. So we're, we're actually kind of in good shape here. Get chaliced, son. MP3 Fox. Bananas, son. MP3 Fox. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm sorry, I thought this was America. I thought I thought this was the modern format. Show and tell avoid winner. <laughs> yeah, that would be. That'd be A+. Plus. No, no, Silver Gax second, uh, Gabe, don't worry. I wanted to have maximum viewership and see how much it fell off. Well, that sucks. They don't have a single relevant card for me to take here. And the one on top is another relevant card. I mean, I love it, but, you know... Sucks to be me. Do I start attacking with Battery Shaper? So if they start cracking back, if they swing with everything, I eat two, two, twos, I take one, two, three, four, five, and then just crush them? Yeah, I can start attacking with Battery Shaper. Is there a one sided containment priest for show and tell to work? Uh, nope. All right, Gabe. Uh, if you come back at 30, you'll be a little late, but that's probably fine. Pithing needle on top. All right. That's going to be a little bit frustrating. Yeah, like, Vence, Vencer's a good choice. Ven, Vencer is a good choice, but um, I don't think there's a way to break this symmetry of show and tell, per se. Although you could always put in something that isn't a creature, by intention. All right, let's see what's what's up with the what's up. Okay. Okay. Good one. Go, Reshaper. Kill. Kill. All right. Oh, that's no good. Oh, that's so bad. Holy shit. Well. <laughs> probably dead. But let's see how smart they are. Oh, they can just combo. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I Wait, but they're all tapped. Oh, but they'll have a... Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We died to a 1 in 40 or 2 in 40 chance there. I don't feel bad about that. I'm just making them combo because I'm not 100% sure they're playing a second Sling Gang Lieutenant, especially post-board, but they probably are. Top deck... Oh, we're just dead. We're just dead.
So, uh, Colby, these these tokens are temporary. They don't they don't last um, beyond this turn. But uh, my opponent can snoop to copy their goblin matron, and then put slinging lieutenant in their hand, and then kill me with these tokens. So I just need to know that they have another slinging lieutenant. Yeah. Okay. Chalice on three did very good work there, just not enough. Matron is triggered ability, though. What? This isn't the game where I had a Torpor Orb in play. At all. So... What? Whale, so so I like the ballista in the sideboard, um, Colby, because it lets me wish for it with Karn. Um, Whale doesn't really deal with any of their important combo pieces. It can't exile... Yeah. I, I don't think Whale's good here at all. The other question is Relic of Progenitus, but like... I don't relic doesn't do at all what we need. That's fine. That that game was very close. Needle? What about needle? What do we want to do about needle? You want a warping whale needle? That's not a thing. Neil stops a lot of things. Are you are you saying you want me to board in a needle I don't have? Or I Oh good for her, last god. And you. Seems like you got good people in your life. Thanks for the follow, Team Sinso. I think you're talking past me too, Colby. <laughs> it would if those uh if those googly eyes were directed at my stream roy but i think they have other uh priorities okay so this hand is gonna get hosed by blood moon but um i don't realistically think i can mull for like a expedition map so <laughs> lazy eye I would make a lazy-eyed viewers only count as two-fifths of a view, but I feel like that is way too specific and offensive for anyone who actually would understand that joke. So, to be clear, I did not make it. Oh no, their creature will be uncounterable. Boons. Yeah, that that seems like the appropriate response, last god. And that is the obvious counterplay. Yeah, um, if you have any baby bottles around, right? Those would work, right? That would be really, that would be an easy, an easy go. Pithing Needle, all right. Which they top decked. Name's Vaking Ballista. This is, okay, okay. Oh, do you know how busted makes me feel, chat? Can I tell you how Bustin' makes me feel? Makes 
I don't want to. I don't want to tell anyone else how to live their life. I'm just telling you, Bustin. Bustin makes me feel good. Two harbingers, a matron, and a blood moon. Well, there's really only one option. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Here's your Tron license. <laughs> Lamau. That was the turn where, as the Tron player, I'm supposed to be like, tank, 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 shuffle cards in my hand, tank, 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 shuffle cards in my hand, Tron land, shuffle cards in my hand, tank, tank, shuffle cards in my hand, tank. Ah, they drew cleansing wildfire. Brutal, but not too bad. Hand, hand survives this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta do the, the, the whisper to. Oh, if they name Karn, you wouldn't dare. You fuck. Name Blast Zone, you coward. Oh, they named Karn, no! Womp womp. All right. Um... Do I hold up the spatial contortion or do I just jam this Karn that I can't use yet? Obviously more mana efficient to jam the Karn. I know their hand is like Matron, uh, Harbinger, Harbinger. That's literally their whole hand. Yeah, it is. Uh, no, they have Bloodstained Mire. Do they have any important mono artifacts? Not that I know of. Hide the Karn, hide the shame. Karn only really stops Vile. Yeah, but it's it's more that if I play the Karn now and I top deck a Blast Zone, I'll be able to activate the Karn immediately rather than holding up a Spatial Contortion that I'm not going to do anything with. Like, holding up the Spatial Contortion is great and all, except they're going to play a 2-1 or a 1-1 I don't care about. So the mana efficiency is just worth it in net Yeah, no, if I had the fifth mana, I would just jam Smasher there, obviously. That's cut and dry. I mean, yeah, it's it's Paul. Um, Paul was my was one of my wonderful teammates on my Team Trios team in paper. Uh, he played the Legacy seat. Speaking of which, recently in the Sunday Challenge last week, he went ninth place with Goblins. So huge kudos to my man, Paul. Gets a crater maker. Yeah. Well, that would have been scary. But then... Then this happened. I don't know, smash? Yo, goblin deck, I'm trying to smash. I just thought I'd be clear about what's going on here. I mean, they are going to play, um, they are going to play Crater Maker this turn, and they can kill my Smasher. I can Contortion the Crater Maker. Hopefully they don't, no, they can't also draw land. So they can play the Crater Maker and hold it up to pop my Smasher, but that's fine. They're still going to die. They're dead on board. They don't know it. I know it. They don't know it. Uh, lol. I don't know. Kill your dude. We can also go get Blast Zone this turn and end the game entirely different way. Okay. What are you trying to draw? Are you hoping I'll be so confused by the trigger you put on the stack that I'm going to miss combat? Nope. Nope. Just conceded. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe they had dismembers. Anyway, first 4-1 of the week. Feels good, baby. Um, Etron. It's a very reasonable, very fair deck to play in Modern. Yes, I know I know what I'm saying. 
Um, I hear the words coming out of my mouth, but real talk. Modern is a format of degeneracy because there's just not enough viable decks that can play Force and Negation, and there's a ton of viable decks that just stomp on Force and Negation. So Force and Negation is not a good check on this format. Now, someone did have a great tweet asking why is Force of Negation uh, uh, necessary in Modern. And Aspiring Spike had a great follow-up where it was uh, the Spongebob meme with Spongebob showing Patrick all the diapers that the the baby scallop? Mollusk? Clam? Not clam, for sure. Um, produced. And it's like Blood Moon and Neobran or Neoform and all sorts of nonsense. There's there's plenty of reasons why I'm happy that Force of Negation is in Modern. Um, however, it's, it, it's had a serious downtick. But... Um, case in point, the combo decks and the super aggressive all one CMC decks are a menace in this format. And Chalice of the Void, as with Legacy, is able to function as a bit of a check on that. And this is the most fair mid rangey deck that plays Chalice of the Void. It's super sweet because it's got Karn the Great Creator as this Swiss Army knife card with a sideboard full of artifacts that all do different nonsense to shut down your opponent's different plans. And then you've got this, like, the reasonable beaters of Matter Reshaper, Thought Not Seer, Reality Smasher. And then you've got a bunch of flex slots. In this case, we're playing Ugin and All Is Dust. We're playing some Warping Whale and Dismember. Um, yeah, the Chalice of the Void Old Border is going to be big time beautiful. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't talk enough about how much I love this and how excited I am for these cards. Um, <laughs> But uh, at the same time, um, if people don't like these cards and they want to buy up the the modern bordered chalices and etc., that's fine because then more people are propelled to one type of chalice that I don't care for as much as this one. Um, so it, it's kind of win-win for everyone. The more chalices in the system and we get to uh, s split up the uh, the grouping. Anywho, um, so that was Etron. It was a fantastic time. Thank you, Tunneling Cat, for your list. And we just kind of ripped through that league. Uh, we are going to be playing a little bit more of a speculative brew up next. This is going to be uh, my chalice of uh, Silver Gak. So stick around for that. I'm going to throw on some tunes for a second. I actually already have to Meanwhile. It up, so that's not going to be a big break. Um, but... For the people in the future who are watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and check out any other videos that intrigue you. Nice Twin shouldn't have been the Goblin player because Nice Twin followed before that match was over. I mean, they could be, but I doubt it, Roy. <laughs> 